Shauna starts us off this hour in Austin, Texas. Hey, Shauna, how are hey. you? Hey, I'm good. Um, thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Okay. Um, right now I'm riddled with a lot of guilt on some former spending habits, and I need to give you a little background, and hopefully you can point me in the right direction. But um, a couple of years ago, I went through a divorce. I got the house, and I couldn't afford it, so I was going to sell it. I moved out into a cheaper place, and a week later, the place that I moved into burned down. So I had to move back into the house I couldn't afford. So I had to use a lot of my insurance money to make ends meet, but I also mismanaged it and spent it on things that I could have done without. I did replace a lot of things, but, you know, I did a little bit of travel, and I just – I feel – I'm feeling really guilty now because now – that was three years ago, and here I am looking at once I sat down and have pinned out my budget and my debt, I could have almost paid off everything but the house. And so now I'm, I'm riddled with that guilt, and I'm also worried that I'm not going to be able – I have another settlement coming soon, I hope, that um, is going to help me put a dent in my debt, but I'm, I'm really afraid – that I'm going to mismanage what I have coming to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do you, do you feel like you've learned your lesson? So much to the point where I'm physically sick about it. Then why would you feel like you're going to mismanage the next set? Because I've... Sounds to me like you've learned your lesson. Why would you, why would you think you're going to mess up again? If history repeats itself, I know I don't want I know. it to why, repeat why would you? I mean, are you that out of control personally? <laughs> no, I don't. That you can sit I here and have I... one conversation with me about how bad you feel about overspending, and then think you're going to go do it again. That's inconsistent, isn't it? That is inconsistent. Now that you say that, yes, I, I, I just. I, have I don't think you're going to do it again. I think you've had enough. I have had enough. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> I'm just listening to you after 20 years of coaching people. I think you've had enough. I think you had your spree, and you look back on it, and regret tastes bad, and you don't want to have that dessert ever again. That's the truth. Yeah, and that's that's good news. That's good news. See, there's a difference between conviction and condemnation. Let's take away the word guilt a minute and replace it, okay? Okay. Condemnation is riddled with guilt and says, I'm a failure because I failed once, and I will always be a failure. You've got a little of that going on. But I think you've got more conviction going on, and conviction says, hey, I drove my car in a ditch, and I'm not going to drive like that anymore because I don't like my car in a ditch. Okay, that, that's, that makes sense. That's called learning from experience, and that's what a wise person does. I mean, we've all done stupid stuff. Anybody says they hadn't done something stupid, did something stupid when they said that. Because we've all done stupid stuff, right? Well, but how do I look forward? Because all I can do is sit here and say, I had that cash in my hand. It's gone. And I don't have it anymore. It's gone. It's gone. It, you know what that is? That's tuition to the school of life. You paid tuition. You've taken that class. You don't have to take it again. You've already passed it. Okay, so... Hey, let, let me, let me give you an example, coming. okay? By the time I was 26 years old, I had $4 million worth of real estate, $3 million worth of debt, a $1 million net worth. I was making $250,000 a year starting from nothing. I was so stupid, I lost every bit of that because of debt. Every bit of it. And just about lost my marriage. Sharon just about... She thought she married Sir Galahad. Turns out she married Doofus, you know? <laughs> and so she, she was going to leave, and she just didn't have the money, you know? And so that that's where I was. Now, I got two choices coming out of that. I can condemn myself and go, well, that's that's the definition. I am the guy that filed bankruptcy. That defines my life. Or I can get conviction, which goes, God, stupid stuff hurts. I'm not doing that stupid stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. And I changed my direction 22 or 25 years ago, whatever it is now. And... um changed the direction and said, okay, what dumb things that I do that I'm never going to do again? See, what you need to do is you need to write down your three never agains. There's at okay. least three never agains in your story. Okay. One right. is when I'm hurting emotionally, I'm not going to make big financial decisions and medicate my pain with spending. Okay. Because you did that. Right. I read that into your story. Am I wrong? 
You are absolutely right. I, okay. I bought myself out of pain. Yeah, yeah. you did retail therapy or whatever you want to call it. And that's, that's mm-hmm. not that unusual, so it doesn't make you really a bad person. But you just need to write that down and go, next time I'm in pain, I put the checkbook up. I'm not, that's not going to de- how I'm going to deal with pain. Never again am I going to do that. There's first never again. Second never again is I'm going to make major decisions like housing very slowly, not on impulse and on emotion. Okay. Because you, you told me three house choices, all three of them were kind of bad. Now, one of them was good, but two of them were bad, come to think of it. Moving out and selling was a good idea. House burned down, that, you know, that, that wasn't something you did wrong, but moving back in was a bad idea. Well, the, I only had to move back in because 1,600 homes in the area burned down as well. And Whoa! I had a vacant house. Okay, yeah, well, that, that yeah, didn't give you a, a choice. Okay. It was, it I, was retract, I retract that one. But what, what you do is you do an autopsy on the on the series of events, and you extract from them principles that you apply to your life from now on. How, how old are you? 38. You remember your grandpa or grandma talking about the Great Depression? Were they old enough? Um, I do remember my grandmother talking about it. You know, she was changed forever by that experience, right? I think so, yes. Yeah, you're changed forever by your experience. And it was a good thing. It made her more frugal and thoughtful about money because she was a child of the Great Depression. You're going to be more frugal and thoughtful about money because you went through a fire and a divorce and you did some stupid stuff in the middle of it that you're never going to do again. You're awesome. I think you're going to do great. Where, where do I go from here? I, I'm, I'm, afraid that, I'm afraid to spend money that I have now now I'm, okay. I'm gripped in fear to spend the money that i have set aside that's okay. to pay my bills that's okay but i mean you're not you're not gonna not you're, you're gonna keep your lights on right oh of course you're I, gonna buy food uh, right I, yes okay so i don't mind you being afraid about other stuff slow down you, it's gonna take you a little while to heal from this and and make decisions with money on purchases non-survival purchases you're gonna always be a little tender about because mm-hmm. you made bad ones it's okay. Okay. You're doing good. I'm, I'm telling you, listening to you, I think you're going to do fine. I really do. And I'm going to help you. I want you to go through my nine-week class, Financial Peace University. I'm going to pay for it, okay? Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh, will, my Will goodness. you learn how to handle money if I do that? I Not only will I learn how to handle it, I'll learn how to use it and better my family. And There you go. And give, it to, give the class to somebody else someday when you're doing really good. But you just need some confidence again in yourself. And I'm telling you, I, think, I don't think you're going to go back. I don't I think you'll ever go back. I think you were changed by this negative experience in a positive way. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. <laughs>